Welcome back to eSim Studios. My name is Taylor Bell. Now, for today's uh, Tech News Daily, I do have just a few topics to hit on. Not a whole lot. Well, take that back. There's a whole lot going on, as you can tell. Um, got a new setup, and this this wall right here uh, just started just a few minutes ago, but got uh, sidetracked with some other things. But hopefully over the next day or two, I should have this 3D wallpaper filled out all behind me, so it'll look cool here over these next few days. Now, we do have, um, for people wondering, I did a Beeper Mini app review when the app was uh, announced and released um, just a few days ago. We have had uh, a, a number of comments uh, in the video. I show how everything works, um, download installation, and then go through the app as far as uh, settings, how it works, this and that. Um, but one thing that we did not figure out and or was not working was the read receipts. So when you text somebody or somebody texts or messages you, they can tell if you have read their message and vice versa. That was not working in our app review video. Now I do have an update for you. Um, it is working, um, but before we before you do anything, go to your app store, right? Go to the Play Store and make sure you have the latest version. They've updated. They've uh, the Beeper team has updated the Beeper Mini app. Uh, I think two times in the last twenty four hours. So they are working diligently to get the best version of their app out to you. So please go to your app store before you do anything and check to see if you have any updates and please update it if there is an update. How to get read receipts working in Beeper is the um, iPhone user on the other end is going to need to make sure their read receipts are active and turned on or turned on and active. Now, it may be a hassle because you're probably going to have to reach out to each iPhone user individually and ask them to turn it on because some people don't have it on. Some people do. Some people don't even know what it is, right? Some people um, are simply forget about it. So what they have to do is go into their settings app. And then select messages, or I guess iMessage, but messages. And then in the messages, so again, go to the settings app, not the messages app. Go to your settings app in an iPhone or iOS device. After you go to the settings app, select messages. And the option for you to toggle read receipts in the on position is right there. As soon as they toggle it on, um, it will work. Uh, we've tested it out, and it does indeed work work. The team over at Beeper Mini has also outlined a quote-unquote near-term roadmap, which in includes a number of features it plans to bring to Beeper Mini in future updates. Now, the company plans to bring WhatsApp integration, SMS integration, RCS integration, and last but not least, FaceTime integration into Beeper Mini. That is awesome. With the FaceTime integration, that means anybody with an Android, theoretically, should be able to FaceTime someone with an iOS device. Now, how they're going to do it, I have no idea, but it sounds really freaking cool. So, um, another uh, quick update on... Pixel users running the beta software. Uh, people like myself, my whole, my whole family, um, basically are running the beta uh, software for the Pixel devices. Now, for all, and Google just released the December security patch for Pixel devices, and it also included the feature drop, the huge feature drop that allows your phone to do all sorts of cool AI stuff, um, night video, um, enhanced video, um, just a number, right? A number of, of cool updates. Well, th that, that update that with the December security patch got pushed out to all the Pixel 8 Pro users um, that's on the stable version of Android 14. It has not been released yet and or available for 
Pixel 8 Pro users that are running the beta software. Now, in the past, Google has basically, um, at the beginning with security patches, how they typically had them released in the past is the first Monday of every month, um, Google would release the security patch and it was available for all to download. Now, they've switched that up and actually made a statement a few months ago saying they're officially not going to go on that schedule. But they're, I can guarantee you they're pretty, they'll be pretty close within there, right? Because here's the issue, here's the problem, is that the first Monday of every month would, would roll by, and then everybody's like, oh, where's the update? Oh, where's the update? You know, throw a fit online. And um, I never did that because I know it's right around the corner. Chill out. They're, they're pushing it, right? They're not just sitting on it. They're they're working on something. Um, so they officially announced that they were not going to follow that schedule. However, they're pretty damn close over the last few months, maybe a few days late. This upcoming Wednesday or sometime next week. In the past, um, the feature drops and or the the uh, update running to the beta software pixels is typically five to seven days after the feature drop. Why? Um, they're working on some things. Look, it's a little more difficult implementing an update to a beta software than a stable version software because stable version software, the developers have all the code, know everything, uh, can uh, where it's at as far as in the code. Remember on beta, it's brand new stuff, brand new code, brand new. Uh, uh, it's the upcoming version, so they have to implement it into the the update code into the current code that you're running in the beta code. So it just takes a few extra days, but have have no fear, have no worries. I can guarantee you it's right around the corner um, for midweek next week. It's typically, again, it's typically about a week later that it will be released. So all the Pixel 8 Pro users running the beta version of Android 14, have no worries. The feature drop will be just around the corner for you. For Samsung users, the speaking of security patches, the December security patch for S23 devices are now out and available to download. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy S23 in the US, whether it's from a carrier or whether it's unlocked from Samsung, if you have an S23 that was purchased in the United States, please go to your settings app and then uh, scroll down to system and then system updates or just go to your settings app and search uh, update, right? That's what I do. Instead of wasting a few minutes looking for something, just search it. The update is available and people are downloading it now and installing it. And it's critical that you do this as soon as possible because it includes, what was it, 70... Here's what the update for Samsung Galaxy S23 users entails. The patch includes 75 total fixes and bug fixes. Um, let's see, it, relating everything from Samsung Knox to uh, updating the contacts application and the Qualcomm based devices, which are all in the US. Um, it says now the critical updates, let's see, out of the 75 total uh, total fixes in this December security patch for Samsung Galaxy S23 users, 16 out of the 75 bug fixes are critical vulnerability fixes. They are patching a problem related to the contacts app where a user with malicious intent could gain sensitive information Another fix involves its devices using the Qualcomm CPUs. As the company states, physical hackers should no longer execute arbitrary code. Um, is there anything left? Uh, three more fixes go to help Samsung's Knox and Knox services to better protect user data and safety across its devices. 
The remaining bulk of the December patch is from Google, as it accounts for 59 of the fixes. The company brings in 15 high-priority system security corrections, highlighting critical security corrections. The Android Bulletin, Android Security Bulletin details several more critical problems corrected with the overall framework of Android devices, not just S23 specific. If you are a big of a nerd as I am, um, go ahead and go down to the description box. I'm going to link the Android Security Bulletin in the description box. So last week, the very first S24 Ultra was caught in real life, and it looks pretty freaking cool. Now, we've also got some other photos that are different from the ones that were collected last week. These are brand new photos, and it not it's not only of the S24 Ultra. It's got the S24 Ultra side to side with the S23 Ultra. So you can see what the differences are between these two devices. Now they are, look, you know, rarely, uh, uh, not rarely, they look fairly subtle as far as just minor changes in the design language, but I can guarantee you it's going to make for a much better, uh, I'm going to say usability, but holdability, if that's a word. Um, it's going to fit in your hand nice. Now remember, this S24 Ultra is going to have a flat display. So the sides are a little more different. The speaker grill is a little more different. The sides are a little more flat. Now, it's not going to be like the S24 and S24 Plus. Remember, we reviewed that those devices, the S24 and S24 Plus, are going to look like an iPhone. Now, I hate to say that, but actually, look, I'm I'm a I'm a fan of the way the iPhone design is overall. Um, I despise iOS. That's why I don't use them. But I do like the design. It's a classic design. And yes, I have trolled them in the past for using that same design for, what, five or six years now. It does look nice. And now we finally have a... Look, the back doesn't look like an iPhone because it still has the um, the uh, camera holes on the back. Actually, you know what? Look. Well, this is a S22 but it's still, it's still going to have the three dots on the back minus this little camera hub. So it'll just have the individual cameras, sort of like this phone. But what's cool, it'll, so it'll have the three cameras on the back for the Samsung. But what's cool is with the S23, uh, S24 and S24 Plus, it's going to have a completely flat side. So I have flat front, flat back. And flat sides be squared off like there's nothing phone. That's the S24 and S24 Plus. S24 Ultra is going to have a flat display. Now, they could not get the sides of the S24 Ultra to be flat. But as you can tell in the photos, they're sort of flat on the sides and just rounded off a little bit at the top uh, of each side or bottom of each side, depending on how you're looking at it. But take a look. Tell me what you think. Um, are you going to get one? Uh, do you like the new design language? Uh, what do you think about the flat displays? I, for one, love the flat displays. I think I'm so over this stupid curved screen stuff that we've had for way too long. It was cool, like, the first year it came out. And then every year after that, I'm like, damn, I can't wait till we go back to flat displays. Now, sitting here, what, five years later, it seems like all the devices now are moving to flat displays. So we will be getting one S24 Ultra. The colors have been announced. I'm not a fan of the colors. Uh, they did away with my precious white. I'm trying to go all white on my phones. Couldn't go white with, well, I guess I could could have gone white with the Pixel 8 Pro, but the blue looks really nice. But I like white. So um, I used to have all black stuff, all black phones, and now I've kind of gone the other way. But colors are out. Design is out, and next thing that's left is an, a launch, right? Because they've announced it. So stay tuned to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. We're going to live stream the launch of the S24 uh, series. We're going to order one, and I can't wait to get everybody's um, opinion to see where you're at because uh, I kind of do want to feel how everybody's, you know, 
the uh, opinion as far as this device. I love Samsung. I love the Ultra series, the Samsung S24, uh, excuse me, S23 Ultra. Ultra. Abs it's one of my favorite devices of all time. It's a workhorse. Uh, my heart skipped a beat when <laughs> I had the moisture uh, detection failure a few days ago, and thank God I uh, fixed it. Oh, another thing. If you or somebody that you know has that moisture detection issue, or if you're a flip, if you're a phone flipper, here's a good little hustle. Go find the moisture detected phones on eBay, on OfferUp, on Mercari. You can get them for dirt cheap because the average person just thinks the phone died, doesn't know how to fix them. Get them on Amazon, uh, not Amazon, get them on eBay, buy them cheap, and then follow our video that I released earlier today and how to fix it. Very easy, shouldn't take but a few dollars and... Uh, you'll have a working Samsung. So thank you very much for your time. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in regards to the uh, S24. Let me know what you think in regards to the um, update when it comes to the Pixel, right? Is that waiting too long for to get an update? I personally wish it would come out with all the others, but, you know, it is what it is. I understand it, so... Not that big of a hurry, although I do want to test out the features. So let me know what you think. Stay tuned to the channel. Please subscribe. You know, we got a ton of cool stuff coming on the way. I can guarantee you that. So thank you very much. We'll see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow, actually. I upload daily. Peace.